You have several options for charging your Model 3 at home. It comes with the mobile connector version 2, which comes with two cables. You have a typical 120 volt outlet with the correct connector for the mobile charger and then you have a NEMA 1450 connector with the correct connector for the mobile charger and it also comes with a J1772 adapter for the Tesla so you would really only use this if you already had an electric vehicle adapter that worked with other cars. But for the mobile connector, the Generation 2 connector is limited to 32 amps, which is exactly what you need to charge the smaller battery pack Model 3. But the long-range long Model 3 can actually go up to 48 so this can't supply the full 48. The way that you can get the full 48 amps is to use a wall connector. But even then, it's not quite that simple. See, most people connect their wall connector to a NEMA 1450 outlet because that's easy to get installed by an electrician but the NEMA 1450 outlet can only supply 40 amps. So it will get more than the mobile connector, but still not the maximum 48 of the car. So to show you what happens when we use some of these connectors, I'm going to first connect this one to the car and I'll show you what comes up on the display. So we have the mobile connector connected to a typical American outlet. These can supply 120 volts at usually 15 amps, but the connector limits it to 12. So we will go connect to the car. Push the button. see on the screen we're showing a charge current of 12 amps at 118 volts which is equals around 2 miles per hour next is the second gen mobile connector connected to a NEMA 1450 outlet remember this outlet can supply up to 40 amps but the mobile connector is limited to 32. So we will and now you can see we have 32 amps available at 240 volts and it's ramping up the current so now we have the full 32 amps which equates to you know 15 miles 16 miles of range we're stepping up so there you know 22 miles of range per hour on a 32 amp connection So rather than use the mobile charger that comes with the car, we'll try the wall connector. So this is again connected to a NEMA 1450 outlet. The outlet can supply 40 amps. So the mobile wall connector is configured to use 40 amps. They can go up to 80 amps if you hardwire them. And we'll plug it in. we're connected so now you can see our maximum is 40 amps and it's ramping up All right. 
right, going past 25 miles of range per hour. And it looks like it's kind of capping out at about 38 amps in this case, 37 amps. And that's probably due to the battery being as full as it is. You know, a lot of people don't realize that these cars, when you're charging with AC, have an onboard battery charger. And that battery charger manages this charge in the battery. And so that looks like that's what it's doing. But, you know, this car can go all the way up to 48 amps when it's connected to the appropriate connector. And you'll see those in a lot of destination chargers. You know, hotels, restaurants, things like that. They will hardwire a full 80 amp connection in. Which the Model 3 can't fully use, but the Model S and X with the optional dual chargers can go up to 80 amps. So yeah, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and if you have any video requests, leave them in the comments.